Well, I say it's good to be in God's house tonight. It's been a long time since I've stood behind one of these sacred podiums and since I had my accident at work and that was back on December the 14th of last year and I've not got to preach uh, since then in in a church. I went over uh, Thursday night to one of my preacher buddies' houses and done an online sermon and it just seems so good just to stand and preach no matter where you're at. Because it's all about Jesus, amen? That's who it's about. It ain't about me, it ain't about me and never has been and never will be. But I'm glad it's about him. It sits on the right hand of the throne today. And one of these days, God's going to say, Son, go get my children. That's us. We're going home to be with him. And I appreciate the Lord. And uh, uh, I just want to share one verse, and this ain't nothing to do with what I'm going to preach on tonight. But, but I got to thinking about how the Lord was watching over me when this accident happened. And if you ain't never been hit with a forklift, you don't know what it's like. It ain't no fun, believe me. And uh, they're a big old machine and they weigh a lot. And, and it probably knocked me about as far from here to the piano keys over there. And luckily all I got out of it was two fr- uh, fractured pelvis bones. It could have been a lot worser. If that thing would have hit me in the head It'd probably kill me, and I'd be home with the Lord right now, but that'd be all right because I'm ready to go. Amen? Amen? But it's not his will yet. He's still got something for me to do still down here. But uh, I just thank the Lord for, for all he does. And Listen to this verse. It's in First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 25. For great is the Lord. Right there.